After being out of commission for years, the Greenland Recreational Field has been reopened to the public, in particular to the people of the 7th and 8th districts. The rehabilitation works, which began in June this year, included improved softball and basketball facilities. Walter Barrett has this report. Promises to have the Greenland Field in East End reopened on Thursday, October 25th were kept as all government officials joined with residents of the 7th and 8th districts to celebrate the long-awaited return of the sporting facility. There were concerns up to last week as to whether or not the work still to be completed on the field would be done in time as there was still grass to be laid, fencing to be erected and bleachers to be installed. However, there was surprise on Thursday to see that phase one of the project had been completed and the field was ready to be used. Noting that it took a long time to get to where it is today, Deputy Premier and 7th District Representative Dr. Kedrick Pickering challenged the members of the community to take care of the facility, not just for now, but for future generations. It was sad that it took so long to come to where it's at right now, but we have it now. And I want to take this opportunity to tell all of us from this community that we have to take care of it. The government can't do everything. It is ours. We must do our best to maintain it, to keep it to a certain standard so that our children, our young people can have it to enjoy. You know, the, the leader of the opposition, um, Honorable Ralph Theon, he told me he wants to see a cricket match, a 2020 player on this field. Told me that the other day. He said, whenever this open, make sure you mention, I want to see one of them. Because when he was watching the World Cup, he said he was thinking, why well, we can't have one of them on Greenland Field? So, you know, the, the, the facility is here to be used by all those who can use it and enjoy it. I don't want anybody to get the impression that it's a softball or it's a basketball or any special sport. It's for the community at large. We have a mixture of people who, use, who play different sports, all of us. All of us must understand it's for all of us to share. Minister for Education and Culture, Myron Warbin, spoke about the social role the Greenland Field will play in the community and stated that avenues such as these will afford young people the opportunity to positively channel their energies. This facility will also serve us well in helping our young people find positive chances to socialize with their peers and develop skills that one day may take them beyond this field and the shores of the Virgin Islands. After being on the campaign trail for about a year now, and meeting with diverse groups, particularly young people in Anigada, Just Van Dyke, Virgin Gorda, and right here in Long Look and East End, young people complained about the lack of properly managed and properly maintained recreational facilities throughout the Virgin Islands. The devil find work for idle hands. And with the amount of energy that our young people have today, we want that energy to be channeled into something positive, such as sports, and not in a negative direction, which only leads to destruction of self and ultimately our society. And in his remarks, 8th District Representative Marlon Penn said the drive to have the Greenland Field reopened comes as a result of government's vision to rekindle various sporting activities, not only in the 7th and 8th Districts, but the entire territory as well. It's more than three years. We celebrate the long anticipated reopening of the Greenland Field, a facility whose closure has brought a lull to sports and social activity in the 7th and 8th districts. One of the many aims of today's opening is to rekindle the fire for sports and our sports teams that once burnt bright throughout our community. A fire for sports which burnt bright for our roots. Atoms and East Evader softball teams, our dominant dreads that we heard so much about just now, East Rockers of my generation, and the original Stars basketball teams. This facility has been the foundation for our territory's greatest track and field stars. Athletes like our 100 and 200 meter national record holder, Dion Crabb our national 400 meter record holder, Dean Grenaway, and our national long jump record holder, Ralston Valak. All products of the 7th and 8th district who got their start and their development for the sport that they love right here at this facility. 
To officially reopen the Greenland field, Minister Walwyn made the first shot on the basketball court, which is the only outdoor court in the territory with glass boards and adjustable rims that can facilitate both adult and children's leagues. According to Premier Orlando Smith, the field is one way of helping to build the community, offering sporting opportunities for the young people, in particular that build both their minds and bodies, ensuring that opportunities are available for the youth to advance in the different sporting events facilitated by the refurbished Greenland field. Reporting for GTV News, this is Walter Barrett.